Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Shields Live again. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, it's not raining, snowing, or anything like that, and, and it's not too hot. So we're getting, I think we're getting closer to a spring. Um, but once again, thanks for joining us. Um, today, we are, Jan is going to talk about uh, a couple of the apps that are available right now for some of the machines, um, whether it's a placement app or the monitoring app. We've got a couple of them, uh, that, that couple different machines that she's going to show you. So um, again, thanks for joining us. Appreciate your likes and comments and and shares. Sure, yeah. Appreciate that. Um, also, I know in our newsletter, the recently we did a little uh, service coupon. So uh, maybe we could attach that or put a link to it on I this. Just, I uh, I can. Yeah, so that way, <laughs> if you don't didn't get it or if you kind of uh, brushed over it, you still have an opportunity to get that. It's 20% off. So um, anyway, um, thanks again for joining us, and I'll turn it over to Jan. So Don't, let, don't let me forget to do that. No, oh, I won't. <laughs> All, right. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks, Tim. Yep. Hi, everybody. Is everybody making it? Yeah. Yeah. And I think everybody's finding us. So it is a very nice day. It has been nice to have some warmer, um, not so hot, hot weather. So just a second, let me turn my banner off here and get to the comments so I can see who's here. Hello, everybody. People are coming in. Okay, so um, I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the brother has a couple of new of apps that work on some of the machines. Um, and the apps work on the Luminaire and the 10 needle. So I have a 10 needle back here. That's the um, monitoring app. So there's one called, um, there's a brother and a baby lock monitoring app. Uh, the baby lock one's called IQ monitoring and the brother one is my stitch monitor. So I have two brother machines today just because that's what we had in the store. So I have the brother apps on mine. So for the my stitch monitor and then the one for the Luminaire and the Altair Meridian that have, um, or I'm sorry, for the, for the Stellar and the Altair and the Meridian that do the um, camera positioning and everything, those are, that's called my design snap or IQ positioning app. So the apps are available on um, the Play Store. So if you have an Android phone, I have an Android phone. So I went to the Play Store and I just looked up my design snap and it came right up and I just downloaded it to my phone and my stitch monitor. And if you have an uh, app, uh, Apple phone, you have to go to the Apple store to get the same ones. OK, so if you have a baby lock, you do need the baby lock app. And if you have a brother, you need the brother app. They're not really they're not interchangeable. OK, so make sure you get the, the one for the brand of machine you have. Um, also, the monitoring app works on the Luminaire and then the Snap app actually does partially work on the Luminaire. So um, I'm going to show you some stuff on both of them today and the monitoring app. Um, is really fun and I use it quite a bit. We'll show that one at the end because it's a really simple one. I use that a lot because it's sort of like having a baby monitor for your <laughs> for your machine because then you can walk away from the machine and then on your phone or on your tablet or whatever, it'll tell you what um, what is going on with your machine. It'll tell you if you need a thread or if you need if you need to um, change colors or it's, it's cool. So I, I really do use that quite a bit because if you walk away from your machine, then you have an idea what's going on. So, okay. So let's start with um, the, my design snap. And um, there is a teeny bit of setup first. And this actually is also for the uh, monitoring app. There's a little setup that you have to do on your machine and on your phone. So this is, you know, you, first you need to download your app. Okay. And um, I downloaded my design snap. Okay, so that's the brother version of the um, of the app. And then your phone, your phone, and your machine both need to be on the same router. Okay, so they need to be on the internet on the same router together. So like I've got my my phone. I'm gonna kind of show you on my phone. You know, I pulled down from the top here. And it says that I'm on Shield Sewing Center's internet right here, okay? So that, that way I know I'm on Shield Sewing Center. And then I have to make sure that my, my uh, machine is as well. So I'm going to pull this down here and I'm going to switch cameras so you can see this little setup. And it just takes a minute. You just have to turn a couple things on on the machine. And the turning it on with... Um, 
with the, I have to get the, got to get, the, there we go, get the right microphone. Okay. So when I bring this down, um, the Luminaires, Stellaires, Altair, Meridians, okay, they have a little, there's a little button up here that looks like a wireless symbol, like an internet symbol, okay? So I'm going to press that. And the first thing we need to make sure is that we have the wireless card turned on. So these, this, and if you turn this on, and there's also other things that the machine can do. So make sure you turn yours on on your machine, okay? Now, I personally go down here to where it says machine name. I like to go down here and, and name it what the machine is. Since we have multiple machines in the store here, I like to know the name, the actual name of the, the machine. Most of the time it just says sewing machine and might have some numbers or something. But this is nice because it actually gives you the name of the machine. So you, to change that, you just hit change and then you can type in the name that you want here. Okay, so that's pretty easy. So I have this one named Stellaire XJ1, because that's what it is. And the next thing I have to do to set this up, and again, I set this up right away on my machine now because it does other things too. But this wireless LAN setup wizard, you just touch that and it's just like putting your printer on the internet, on your router at home or whatever. It's gonna think and look for the, the routers and see it's already connected to this one right here. So here's the Shield Sewing Center. And then, you know, you touch the one you want and then it um, comes up and asks you for your password. Okay, so mine's already on here so I don't have to do that again, okay? So that is the connection. So you need to be connected with your machine and with your phone or your tablet or whatever you're using, okay? So I've got both of those connected to Shield Sewing Center. All right, so that's the first little setup thing. We gotta do that. The other thing for this to find each other is make sure that your machine is woke up. You know, don't have it, like when you first turned it on, I'm just gonna turn it off and turn it back on again so you can see. So when you turn it on, it has the little screen sometimes that twirls, you know, it's like a little repeating screen. It won't find the, the your app or your phone if this is going because the machine needs to be awake. So I have to touch this and wake up the machine so that it's ready to sew. So it needs to be ready to sew, okay? And honestly, the easiest way is what I do is I bring up the design first. So like, I'm gonna go in here and we're, I'm just gonna show you a design. We're not gonna sew today, but I'm just gonna show you how this little positioning app works. So this is a Stellar XJ1. The, it's similar to the Dream Machine, but there's no camera in the machine anymore. So you have to use the little app. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit intimidated by this app at first. But after playing with it, it's really actually kind of fun. And if you don't mind using your phone, it's kind of fun. And, and it works really slick. So you'll see how easy it is to use. And it gives me the same results as it did when I was scanning everything in the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and find my design first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the scanning function. And then I'm going to scan or in this case, take a picture with my phone and I'm gonna, so I can place my design exactly where I want it on what's in the hoop, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my design. So let's just go ahead and get, I'm gonna go to embroidery and I put a little design on my stick here. Um, I'm gonna choose my stick and I'm, I've got my little Shield Sewing Center logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. I'm gonna set it so that it's ready to sew, okay? Now what we need to do is I need to, whatever's in the hoop, I need to make, make take a picture of it or scan it, but we're gonna take a picture of it. Now, again, this is the, this is the part of the, the app that works um, prim primarily in the Stellaris, Altair and Meridian. Those are the two baby lock machines, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna post camera up and you can see my hoop down here. Now these machines come with these special hoops, I call them bugs, with the little boxes on them. See the little boxes on the top of the bottom. So in order for this app to work, you need to use the hoops that have these little markings on them, the little registration markings, okay? And they come with um, either two, the, the embroidery only's come with two hoops, and I think the uh, sewing embroidery combos come with four hoops. So there's four different sizes that you can use. 
Okay, so here's my little hoop here with my bugs. And I and I went ahead and um, hooped this little piece of fabric that has a pocket on it because I want to put my um, I want to put my little Shields logo above my pocket. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open my app. Give me a second here. So I'm going to find my design snap. It's right here. Whoops, on my phone. So I'm just going to touch it on my phone. Okay. And it comes up and it has these three, hopefully you can see it. It has these three little sections. Okay. So I'm going to show you the top section today. And I'm going to show you briefly the, the bottom one. These two sections here work with design center. So that's, we've talked about design center before. So we're not going to really talk about that today, but I will show, show you briefly how these work with design center. Um, this one here um, is not one that I would will show you today, but I'll show you the bottom one. Okay, so um, I've got these these three things. Um, it's possible that when you open your app, you're gonna it's gonna ask you to take a picture of a little piece of paper that comes with these machines, and it looks kind of like this. It's got bug. It's got all these little dots on it and everything. Okay, and then. I just ask you to take a couple pictures and it's just two little fast little pictures you take. Okay. That's very simple. And this is the, this is the piece of paper and it comes with the machine. Okay. Mine, mine's already set up, so we don't have to do that. All right. So I am ready. I'm going to make a scan. So just like we did in our luminaires or whatever, we might put something in the hoop and then scan it up on the machine. Right. So this is what we're going to do, but we need the app for this. So I'm going to hit my little app going to hit this little button that says snap capture with frame. Okay. And then it says to hold your smart device parallel to the embroidery frame. And then, and it'll, and you can tell that not to come up anymore. If you want to, I'm just going to click. Okay. And I'm going to stay in easy mode. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my phone over my hoop. And I think I got a little bit off. So I'm going to try it taking again. I'm trying to get the camera up high enough so you can see what the app's doing. It's a little bit hard to see, so. Okay, so when you hold this over your hoop, second here, oops, let me go back. Go back to the beginning, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this over my phone, my hoop, and it comes up with a little picture of your hoop on it. Try it one more time to see if you can see it. It's always hard because I, I have to be pretty high for this. I can just go back into it again. Okay, so then I can hold it up and you can see it's saying hold to one and I'm just holding it in place. Okay, and it shows like a picture of your hoop, the hoops down there and then it shows a picture of your hoop and you just you just hold it there until it tells you it's done. Well, see, there's my picture. Okay, so there's my picture and I'm just going to say now it says send to machine. So I'm just going to click that little button and it's going to send it to the sewing machine through the internet. Okay, now it says sent to embroidery. So I'm going to hit OK. So that's that's how I did it. OK, isn't that cool? So then I'm going to come over here to the embroidery machine. So we'll do this again because we're going to I'm going to show you another option. Got to get some papers out of the way here. OK, so we're going to come over here to the embroidery machine. And I need to put my hoop in that I took the picture of. So I'm going to grab my hoop. And I'm going to put it in the machine here. So I've actually had learned a lot about this this week. It's been very fun. Okay, and then it says to the image was sent to the mobile app. Update, sure. I'm going to head, tell it okay. And then the carriage of the, the unit's going to move because it's getting ready to sell. Okay, so now I'm in. Oh, look at there. There's our picture that we took. So there's the picture. And I'm going to hit embroidery, just like I'm going to sew this. And there is my picture with my with my design. Now, I would like to get that above my pocket. So this was like a little outline of a pocket. I'm going to hit layout um, up here. And I'm going to hit move. And I'm just going to bring it down so that I've got it where I want it. Okay, so we're just going to move it where we want it. That looks pretty good. 
And then I'm going to click OK. And now we're ready to sew. Isn't that wasn't that easy? So you just take the picture, send it to the machine. It comes up on the screen and you move your design to where you want to go. So it wasn't that simple. That is the easy mode in this. So I thought that was very easy. Um, the hardest thing for me is to is to get the picture taken because I have a little trouble getting my my uh, hoop just right. Um, I, I like to lay it on the table and then um, you have to be quite a ways above it. So like when I was taking the picture here, let me try it one more time so you can see it. Um, when you go up here, you got to be kind of above the hoop here so you can see uh, then you can see my app. But the app is super, super easy to use. So I'm just going to touch it. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to bring this up so I can see my little thing on the app. I don't think you could see it. But there's like a little hoop that shows up and it just says three, two, one. And you just hold it still when it gets there. You bring this up a little higher and see if you can see it this time. It's pretty cool. There you go. Can you see it? I don't think it did it because I'm a little bit too far away. There we go. There you go. I think you can see it that time. That time it got it. See? So there's that picture. So it's pretty cool. It just, it just does everything right on the app for you. It's super easy. So that is the basic using the standard like scanning. Like when we did this all the time with different things with the dream machines, we just scanned things up and then moved them to where the position that we wanted. Okay. So that's the same, same with this machine. Now, the, next, the other option that we used with our Dream Machines and Destinies and then with Luminaires and Solaris's was the snowman feature. Well, this machine uses the snowman too, but it's, through with, it's using the app to help you. So I've got my little snowman. I often, when I do this type of um, centering, I often use a template. So see, I printed a little template here and put a snowman on that because this is my little design that I wanted, okay? and um, with the snowman on it. So I just, that's how often I use snowman is I put them right on my templates and then I can get everything really lined up, okay? So it's gonna work the same way in the app. Give me a second here, stand back up. And we're gonna take a picture of this hoop again, but this time I wanna use that snowman. So I wanna, I'm gonna lay my little template that I made with my snowman on it. I'm going to lay that down above my pocket right where I want it. So I'm going to lay it on the pocket line there and stick it down. Okay, with the snowman right on it. And then I'm going to push this up so that I can take a picture of it. With the snowman in it, okay? So this time with the app, I'm going to choose the same button. And okay, but this time down here, I'm going to choose advanced. It's right here. You can't see, there's a little bit of a glare on the screen. I'm sorry. The advanced button. And it says affix the embroidery positioning sticker at the embroidery location, which I have. I'm going to hit okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a picture of my hoop. Three, two, one. And it, whoops, I don't think it quite did it. There we go. So here's my little picture. So see, it did the picture with my little, with my little um, snowman on there. Let's try it one more time and see if you can see it this time. It's really hard to get this at the right level. Let's try it one more time. Hit advanced. There we go. That's better. So now I think you can see it this time. Yep. Yeah. You can see it working. There we go. Okay. So there's my picture with my snowman and I'm going to send it to the machine again. So for those of you with the, the Stellaires and the Altair's Meridians, this is, this is how you can do the same things without the camera and you just use your app. So now I'm going to go back to the machine again. I'm going to click OK to update and it says attach the frame. So I didn't have my frame in, so I'm going to put my frame on. frame in here. Okay. And then I'm going to say okay. And okay again. Okay. So now what it has done is it the carriage whoops, I got to hit okay one more time. 
So what it's done, and I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a laser light on this machine. And what it did is it, it's turned the laser light on and that laser light point is right in the center of my little, um, it, of my little snowman sticker. And if it's a little teeny bit off, which mine, it's pretty good. It might be just a hair to the right. You can adjust it slightly. So like mine just needs to go maybe that way, just a smidgen to make it right in the center. Okay, I just moved and, and what it's doing, you're looking at the laser light in the middle of the sticker. Then I'm gonna click okay. All right, so we're pretty much sure that it's lined up. And then what I'm gonna do is, um, this works with the luminaires and the Solaris's too. You go into layout and you would use your snowman. Well, in this case, we have to finish the snowman here. I'm gonna click my little snowman. It's, it's gonna revert back to the original position, that's fine. And I want it to be looking for the center, which is this little button down here with the X on it. So I'm just gonna make sure that's clicked blue and I'm gonna click okay. And then it's going to move. And the pattern was moved, remove the embroidery positioning mark, okay. So if you look over here, on the screen, you can't see the, the difference between the design and the, the sticker. Remember I had that sticker on there, the little paper that had the design on it. I can't tell where one, where they're, they're like perfectly lined up. So if I remove my sticker now, I'm ready to sew. All right. So I wanted to show you one though, that was obviously obvious that very obvious that it was moving okay so this one it just moved the design up so you can see over here on the machine see here's my needle now ready to sew for the center position okay but i wanted to show you this um, with a different design so that you could really see it move with the snowman so it's pretty cool so i'm going to go ahead and hit okay and i'm going to go back to um the machine and let's just pick a little design this cute little butterfly i'm going to click set on that little butterfly okay and i'm going to take another picture of my hoop i'm going to do the same thing in advanced mode because we're going to use the little sticker so this time i'm just going to use the little sticker by itself and i want my little butterfly to be turned sideways like this so i'm going to turn my sticker so I have it turned sideways, so his head's kind of over up going this way. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that sticker on kind of sideways. And then I am going to, oops, just pull this up so you can see. Okay, and I'm going to take my camera. I'm going to use that same app, the same section of the app, hit OK, and then I'm going to click Advanced. It's going to tell me to put the positioning marker on, which I did. It's in the hoop. And now I'm going to take my picture again. Okay, and it took my picture of, and you can see the pocket with a little, a little snowman in there. I'm going to send it to the machine. Here's the button. Send it to the machine. Okay, it's going. So then we can go over here. And it says the image was sent from the mobile app. Update, sure. I'm gonna hit okay. Now it says I need to attach my frame. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna put this back in the machine. Whoops. Keep it from catching all that fabric. There we go. All right. And then I'm gonna click okay. And it says it's gonna move. That's okay again. Okay, now we're back over here. Remember how it just did it before. It's going to turn my laser light on. And you probably can't see the laser lights are very hard to see on camera because they're, they're, um, it's like a camera on a camera. So it's right here in the middle of my sticker. It's actually very, almost pot, completely perfect. So I'm not going to move this one. Remember, you can move it just a little bit with these buttons. Okay, and it shows the picture here. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to hit embroidery. And now I'm ready, but see, oh, well, the butterfly still hasn't moved, has it? So I'm going to go up to layout. We have to go finish it with the snowman. So here's the little snowman guy. Click the snowman guy. Okay. And I want it to be the center. 
Okay, and I'm going to click OK. And when I do that, watch the little butterfly. He just turned over. So see how the little the little butterfly has turned to the side and he's flying this direction now. Okay, so it is pretty easy. I was just, like I said, I was a little intimidated by this app when I first tried it because I found, I thought, oh, I can't, you know, all this stuff and you take pictures, but you know, it's so easy. And I'm going to show you one other section just quickly. Um, and this also works on, this This section is for only for those four machines, the two Stellaires, the Altair, and the Meridian, this part of it. But um, designs, the Design Center end, and we've talked a little bit about Design Center. The Design Center end, and remember a few weeks ago, we, we, we made this little design in Design Center. And then on, um, so along with Jan on Sunday night, we actually made the pillow using this design, okay? So what I did, and this also works on the luminaires of the Solarises. Okay. I took that picture. Here's this paper that I had printed out. This is a PDF file. Okay. And I laid this down on a table and I took a picture of this piece of paper. So let's say you have a red work design that you would like to do and you wanted to, um, it was in a book and it was really hard to get in a scanner or something. You could just take a picture of it. So I'm, I just took a picture of this page. All right, on my on my phone, okay, and then second here, got to get everything organized. Then I'm going to click these two. Say my design center. So the one I'm going to click is the second button because this one says select an image for pattern editing. Well, I'm going to work on that in Design Center, so I'm going to click this button. And then he, oh gosh, this looks familiar. This is all my pictures. So this is the picture of that piece of paper. I, I took it earlier. So here's that little picture. And I can look at that. So here's the picture right here. Okay. And it says, send to the machine. Okay. Well, I'm just going to click the send to the machine button. It's sending. It's a little bit bigger file. So it takes a minute because it's a picture file, and it says sent to my design center. Okay, well, cool, okay. So that was easy, we got that. I just took the picture with my phone like any old picture and it went into my gallery and I just, I just found it in there, okay. And then let's go back here to the machine and go to my design center. So here's my design center and the, this little button with the leaf on it was the one that we need to use to for the scanning or retrieving it off of a USB stick or in this case off the cloud. So I'm just going to click the scanning button. It looks like a leaf. And when this comes up, I have several options. Now on Sunday night we used the option that remember we put a JPEG on a stick over here and we brought it in that way. Well, this one gives me the option of, look, I have a, I have a uh, internet option. And you also have this option on the Solaris and the Luminaire. So I can click this button right here. And then I can find my picture. So they don't give you a picture of you just have, I know it's the first one that I just sent. And it, and it takes a second for it to load because it's a pretty good sized picture. So here's my picture of that. Um, I love you to the moon and back and I can set it. So this is basically just like we use with the USB stick, but then we brought it in from the phone. Okay, so here's my design. And then I'm ready to finish my design by making it into stitches. So I'm just gonna do that quickly so you can see me do it. Okay, and I'm just gonna get a triple stitch. And then I'm going to use my line designs. And I'm going to, you might need to crop. I need to crop a little bit on this one. Okay. I've got my triple stitch down here. I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to set it. And then look, this is red. So that means that I'm going to turn off the backdrop. And so there's my design that I just created with that picture I took in my camera and sent it to my machine. And now at this point, you know, I'm ready to finish it. I can go to next. I can actually go ahead and change like the stitch length and stuff here. If I want to. 
We did this on Sunday night too. So this is very similar. Um, now this button, this machine has a preview button. So you have to hit preview and then okay. And then it's gonna go and now we're gonna set it again and okay. And look, now I'm on the sewing page. So I'm ready to sew this design, okay? So we just sent that little picture that I took with my phone over to the machine and that's how easy it was. I really, I, like I said, I've been having fun playing with this this week. I had not used it much and I was a little intimidated by it, but please don't be because it is so easy. So the other thing I wanted to tell you is that, and I will put links to all of these up on our Facebook page, but um, Brother has a nice little booklet called My Design Snap App Assistant Book. So I'll put the, um, I'll put a link to Dropbox so you can find get these. And it has like a little, well, there's like a little, like a little cheat sheet page that you can get just a couple pages. And then there's an actual little book that takes you through some little exercises. Okay. And then the one for the baby lock is the same. And this will be in the same folder. I'll put them all in there. Got to find the, oops, got to find it though. Takes you through all the different options. And then this is the, what the one for the baby lock one looks like. It's IQ intuition positioning app. So I'll give you um, a Dropbox link on our Facebook page with these two documents, okay? So that you can you can um, download the little book. And then I'll also have up there the, that little um, lineup thing, that little lineup page with the little polka dots on it. That's in there too, if you can't find yours. It sh should have come with your machine, but if you misplaced it, then you can you can get a download of it and print it off, okay? So how is there, does, does everybody kind of understand how easy this app is to use? I mean, I was just really, when I started working with it, I just like, oh golly, this is gonna be so hard. And after I got going with it, it's so simple. And so I wanna do some other things with some of these other buttons here with Design Center so I can show how you can line things up and like do quilting around appliques and stuff like that. And you would be using these two design buttons here to do that. So I think it'll be really fun um, to play with the app. Okay, so there's one other app that's really cool for that brother has, and I use this one quite a lot. Um, and it works for the Luminaire Solaris's and the ten needle machines. So it'd be the um, Venture and the um, and the ten fifty five X. So we're going to switch apps now. So this is the Design Snap. So I'm going to close this one. And then the other one's called my stitch monitor or IQ, IQ monitoring is what the baby lock version is. Okay. Yeah, it is really cool, Anna. So this is the my stitch monitor. So I'm going to grab that little button. And if you give me a second, I'm going to move this camera over so you can see the machine up here. So I've got a I've got my 10 needle beside me here. So let's move the camera up so you can see the screen on the 10 needle. Okay, so let's bring this up. Okay, now I've got that same little design up here on the screen. And I've got it set so it's ready to sew. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the machine so you can kind of see it sewing this design because you wanna see what the app's gonna do. All right, let's get this settled so you can see it a little bit better. There's a little bit of a glare, I apologize. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start my app. So the same thing here, this machine has the little internet icon and I have set it up so that it's on my, my router, the same one as my phone, Shield Sewing Center. And so I set it up here and I named this one. I like to name my machines. And this one I named the PR1055X. So I knew that which machine it was, okay? Normally they just say sewing machine something there, okay? So I've got that all done already. And it's all in my phone's already. So I'm gonna click okay. And when I open up my app, I actually, they're connected right now because I had already connected them. So when I open up this app, Hopefully you can see it, okay. My stitch monitor. Look, there's my little design right there. It says ready, so it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this machine. It's a little bit noisy, so hopefully you'll be okay and hear me okay. 
So in a second, once it gets going, I don't know if you can see up here, but on the top of the app, it tells me it's in bedroom. Okay. So if something happens, it's going to come up. It's going to come up and give me a notification on my phone to tell me that something happened, like I ran out of bobbin thread, or I, um, I, I, it, I had a thread break, or something like that. It's going to tell me what happened in a little notification, and it'll make a noise. The app will make a noise. And I use this all the time. So here's it's showing down here. It's monitoring. It'll tell me how many stitches are in the design, how many stitches I've done, how long it'll take, what color it's on, first color of two. And so and if you go over here, it'll actually give you the thread list over here of what thread colors you need. So it's really cool. And I use this one quite a lot because I like to walk away from my, especially my pen needle. So I'll turn this off so you can hear me a little bit better. But when I walk away from my 10 needle, then I can tell that if something's happened, like I'm usually far enough away that I can't hear it. And then I can see on my app, it's like, oh, well, something's wrong. I need to go take care of my machine. So it's sort of like a really cool baby monitor because people used to buy baby monitors for their machines and carry the little things so they could hear the machine run. Well, now you can actually just put it right on your phone. And this works with the Solaris and the Luminaire and the 10 needles, the Venture and the um, 1055. Okay. So isn't that cool? I just, this is one of my favorite. I use this app like all the time, especially with this machine. Then I walk away from it. So if it stops and needs a bobbin or something, it tells me that. And then I can go run and do that. So, okay. All right. So is Tim going to come back? Okay. So, um, are there any questions about the app? So I just kind of briefly went through these so you can kind of see what we were doing with them. They're very easy to use and I think they're kind of fun. They work with tablets also. So if you have a tablet that you would prefer, or like an iPod, something like that. So if there's something else that you prefer to use other than a um, phone, I just happen to always have my phone, so that's why I use that. Second here, I gotta get you back on the right microphone. Okay, so that's our little brother baby lock apps. There it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, again, thanks for joining us this Wednesday. It's beautiful out. Get outside, um, enjoy the weather. Um, like I said, Jan said earlier. At first, it was a little intimidating with these apps, but. I've been playing with it quite a bit in the quad cities and it is really slick. Uh, it works really, really great. Um, you know, and then the machines are a little less expensive than the luminaire. So, and, and you still get the ability to use some of the, um, some of the features that yep, you can and get. And nice size hoops. And a good size hoops. Yep, nine so, and a half by 14 is the largest. Um, yeah, so uh, again. Beautiful sewing machine see, too. Anna, how do you like this feature over the other? You mean the over the, the actual cameras in the machine, to Anna? I think that's what she If means. that's what you're referring. The cameras in the machine is, a, I personally think it's a little easier to use. Uh, it's it's, it's just, faster. It's faster. Maybe, that, it's, maybe that's yeah, it's faster. It's it's uh, a you know a lesser step, um, a couple steps in there. But again, it, it's a really great app. I think this is I think this is accurate though. It is very accurate. Yeah, I think it's so, accurate. Um, but yeah, thanks again for joining us. Uh, be back again next Wednesday. We'll figure out what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Jan will um, put a link on here for uh, our little coupon, our service coupon. Um, that's going on for another couple of weeks. So uh, it's a good time to get it um, serviced, cleaned, uh, that sort of thing, kind of a spring cleaning, even though we didn't really have a spring uh, per se, because we kind well, of jumped we right. Kind of we now. are now, yeah. <laughs> so a uh, good time to bring it in, uh, especially if you're outside gardening, doing some of those nice things that you can do outside. Um, and then, you know, we'll need the machines for a couple of days. But uh, like I said, thanks again for joining us. And, and then I'll put the little books up too. And then she'll put the books up Those there as little, well. The little so. manuals up, yep. Perfect. All right. Yep. Well, thanks again for joining us. Appreciate the likes, comments, and shares. And um, what did she say? Yes, that's what she was talking about. Yep. Okay. okay. So, um, but yeah, thank you for joining us. And we'll uh, see you next week. So, have a great week, great weekend, all that good stuff. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everybody. See Bye. you. Bye.